Good day to everyone. Today is my favorite day of the week, Saturday, and that means you're with me. And this week we will be talking about self-esteem. <laughs> never someone who had very high self-esteem or really any self-esteem at all. Um, growing up I was always very shy and very um, uh, closed off to people getting to really know me. I always remember being very um, socially awkward and having a lot of anxiety in social situations because I was always paranoid that I would say the wrong thing and that um, people wouldn't like what I had to say or would make fun of me for what I talk about or what I, what not. Well, hi, Prudence. Um, so I remember having a lot of friends, which looking back, I don't really understand like how because I wasn't a huge talker. But at the same time, I was really good talking one-on-one -on -one with people. I found it a lot easier to connect with one person rather than when I was in a group of people. So I had a few select close friends that I was able to talk to about things, um, not necessarily about transitioning or anything, because at the time I was very confused and I had no idea what was going on. I just knew that I was very depressed and... I really hated my body and did anything I can to disguise it. Um, I remember wearing multiple um, girdles, I guess you would call them, underneath my clothes so my hips would be smaller and ha so I would have more of a, a straight figure, like a more masculine figure. Um, once my chest started to develop, to develop a little bit, I just hated it. I did whatever I could to disguise that and wore lots of sports bras and and that sort of thing. And it was just generally very low and I'm really sad about that thinking back to it because I was I I, I would have loved to be able to have played sports in school early on and whatnot. I love being involved in athletics, but I was just so consumed by feelings of not being good enough and feelings of embarrassment of myself because I just, it's hard to explain, but I guess I just felt like I had no idea who I was and I was completely ashamed of this person that I represented, this body that I represented, and whatnot. But as time grew on, I gained more self-esteem. I think uh, that kind of started to come up a little bit more once I got to um, high school and forward within my life. Like, I was still very... Um, very shy, very reclusive in high school and only like I still had a lot of social anxiety but I met a lot of different people in high school that were a little more like myself and a little more weird I guess you could say and people who I identified a little bit more with and um, that really helped me to be able to do a little bit more that I wanted to do. I remember getting involved with rugby and field hockey and that was really fun. Um, and that's when I came out as a lesbian actually and felt a little bit more of a connect with myself because I could finally identify what I, who I guess I was attracted to, even though now I say that I'm pansexual. Once I got to university, I got more involved with the community. I met trans people, I met queer people, I met pretty much anyone within the spectrum, and I started to learn that there were different possibilities out there and that my future wasn't so 
narrow and restricted as I had thought. And um, once I moved on, I, I mean, sorry. And while I was there, that really, really boosted my self-confidence. I felt more like I was aligning myself towards the right path and getting a little bit closer to kind of figuring out what was going on with me and what would really ultimately lead to my own happiness. And I think the most self-confidence and self-esteem that I've had would probably be currently because I am finally, finally figuring things out and I feel more and more like myself every day and that's what really boosts my self-esteem. It was never losing weight. It was never getting friends. It was never dating the right person or getting love that I thought was the root of the problem and what I was trying to grasp for all those years. It was me. It was within myself. And that's really what's been pushing my self-esteem higher and higher. Um, I have a lot of days where I feel dysphoria and that's normal because when I look in the mirror, I don't, I still don't see exactly who I feel like I am, but I'm getting closer and closer. And the testosterone has really, really, really helped with that. I feel more vitality. I feel my muscles and my body changing and I feel great. I, um, I'm getting more facial hair and that's amazing. My face shape is changing, my hair texture is changing, my voice is changing, and people are seeing me as a man. They're calling me by male pronouns and it feels so good. I feel so good. And there's so many more good things to come. And I don't want to specifically relate self-esteem to physical change because that was never really the root of my problem and um, that's pretty much the biggest lesson I've learned from that is that I can't root self-esteem to specifically one thing but God it has worked so well I have never felt better and I've never felt more of myself and I only see good things in the future. Like, for instance, today is 37 days until my top surgery, which is huge. I am so excited to be rid of the binder and to feel so constrained and pushed down and restricted and hot and chafing and itching and all of those uncomfortable feelings just to feel good enough to go out in public. And it sounds stupid. I'm sure a lot of my trans brothers will understand this, but to anyone who isn't trans and viewing this video, it really makes the world of a difference. It's like having a giant, giant pimple on your face. And you are embarrassed of being around people for people to... to look at it and to okay this is such a bad analogy but you get what I mean like it makes you uncomfortable you feel like people are watching you even if they're not you just feel like you can't fully be yourself because something is holding you back and that's what my chest is it's holding me back and when I look down I don't I don't see a male chest and that's what I've always wanted. And I don't think that I should hold myself back from that anymore. I don't think that's fair. I'm almost 30 and I just can't wait around forever to try to live happily. So, so yeah, it feels great to be moving forward and to really feel like I'm going in the correct path. And you know that you're going in the correct path when you can take a step back and really feel those warm and fuzzy feelings like you're doing something for yourself and something that is making you feel in a positive way.
There's no reason why you should feel down about yourself. There's always, always something you can do to change that and to change your situation because everybody should be happy. Everybody should be confident. Everybody should be able to have that self-esteem to be able to orient yourself in society and that's that's it lack of self-esteem really pulls you away from all of those opportunities where you could potentially heighten your your standing in life and heighten those positive feelings I'm the happiest I've ever felt and I feel like things are only going to get better so Self-esteem comes when you finally do things for yourself, when you take a step back and take care of you. And this ties in with self-care, it ties in with depression, it ties in with counseling. You got to take care of you before you can take care of anyone else or before you can really orient yourself within your life. You got to take care of yourself. And the self-esteem will come. Anyway, I think that is about it. It's getting a little dark because the sun is setting. So I will end it here on this note. Anyway, that's a little blurb about how I feel about self-esteem and where I've come. And I just want to tell you all that you're all beautiful people. And you should all be confident within yourself. Everybody has a beautiful, beautiful gift and many talents. And life is given to you to be able to get out there and experience it all. And how you do that is by taking care of yourself first so you feel confident and you feel that self-esteem to carry you forward to do and achieve your dreams. All right? With that, I will bid you adieu. Have a wonderful evening and peace out. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.